Hi everybody, I'm George Valentine. I'm the author of the Job Hunting Toolkit and the Job Hunting Hero Method. And I want to talk to you today, not so much about job hunting, as something that you already know the answers to. I just have the right questions. Folks, I want to talk to you today about your five senses and how they're going to get you through some really rough times. Anyone who has an addiction, anyone who has a disabling condition or a chronic pain can understand what I'm about to say. I hope the rest of you are helped out as well by understanding what it is that makes you feel good and not so good using your five senses. Now for those of you who are asleep back in biology class, back in elementary school, the five senses are hearing, touch, sight, smell, and taste. Those are the ways that you communicate with the world. And those are the things that are going to help you when, you're out, when it seems the world is out of your control, that you're powerless, that you can bring it back and have that greater sense of comfort that is lost in those times when you're feeling out of control. Here we go. What I'd like for you to do is to make a chart similar to this, listing the five senses and listing on a scale of 1 to 10, with a note for 7, 5, and 3. Forget about 1 for just a minute. 10 would be that you're on top of the world, that everything is as perfect as it could be. I hope that you've been in those situations. I hope that you've been in a situation where you could just relax and know that all is right with the world, at least for a few seconds. Think about it and write down what it is that you're enjoying in your five senses at each of those levels. At a 10, for me, for example, I'm listening to some jazz music, wearing an old pair of sneakers, surrounded by family, breathing in some salt air, and enjoying the taste of homemade lasagna. Oh, let me tell you, then I'm on top of the world. For you, it's probably different. How are you feeling when things are a little bit less perfect, but still pretty darn good? For me, I'm listening to some old rock and roll. I'm wearing a fresh shirt, I'm standing out by the lake, I'm smelling the morning dew and eating baked ziti from the day before. You'll notice that I'm not eating the lasagna again. I'm compromising a little bit. It's still pasta, it's still got sauce and cheese, it's just a little bit different. Let me see, how are things going when things are even worse off? That, but I'm doing okay. Well, in those cases, I'm listening to polka music. I really don't know what it is, what touch that I'm feeling when I'm feeling, eh, okay. But I'm watching the snowfall. I can smell the fresh cat litter. And I'm eating some burgers and fries. Not bad. I can accept it. I'm doing okay. Number three, I'm listening to screamo music on the radio. Screamo is okay for other folks, not so much for me. I'm wearing shoes that are a little bit too tight. I'm watching the snow plow come by, socking me back in after I've just been outside shoveling. I'm smelling used cat litter. And folks, if you've ever smelled used cat litter, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm tasting sour candy. It's acceptable, but man, I wish, while I'm eating the sour candy, I'm dreaming of lasagna. Think about it, folks. What are those times when you're out of control? When the world is just coming down hard on you? What is it that you would want for your five senses? A, after a long day, after having gone outside and shoveled snow and watching the snow plow come, I think I'll go back here and settle into listening to some jazz, if I can find it. Putting on an old pair of sneakers and just walking around the house. Think about it. These 5, 7, and 10 are going to help you out on your 1 and 3 days. But you have to understand things first. And you need to put together what I call a wellness box. Put together in that box a pair of sneakers, some jazz music, maybe the smell of salt air, because man, they've got colognes out there that has most everything. And maybe even an emergency box of baked ziti or lasagna. You already know the answers to that chart up there. Put together the best you can, your list. 
put together best you can your wellness box so that on those days when you're feeling out of control, when you're feeling worried, when you can't quite put your finger on what's going wrong, you'll have something that's going right. Please take a minute, hit that subscribe button, and come on back. We'll talk some more. Bye for now.